Hi, I'm Phil, co-founder of Cybersecurity Hub and AttackForge. Welcome to tutorial nine. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to create custom vulnerability reports for different audiences using AttackForge. When creating vulnerability and pen test reports, it's important to know who the target audience of that report is. This will help articulate the key message clearly and without all the extra noise. First, we're going to create a full report with all details. So you can see all the information that can be included within your report. From the project menu, I'm going to select customize vulnerability reports. There's a total of 30 different options I can toggle on or off for my report. I'm going to start with selecting all the options and downloading the report. The full report contains a title page, which is timestamped, an executive summary section, which provides information on total unique vulnerabilities discovered, as well as test cases assigned to the project. This section details whether there was any zero day vulnerabilities or easily exploitable vulnerabilities discovered. In the executive notes section, this is where project information can be included. Typical things like scope, overall summary, limitations, assumptions, etc. In the testing summary, this includes the project test window, progress against test cases, total vulnerabilities for all assets and a breakdown by fixed, retesting and not fixed, the assets and the scope, which is what was tested, the project team, and the retesting history for each round. In the next section, there's a summary of all the vulnerabilities ranked by priority, critical, high, medium, and low. This includes a breakdown of how many assets were affected by each vulnerability and whether the vulnerability was fixed or not fixed. In this section, this is where all the attack chains are included for each attack chain that you've built. Then we move on to the individual vulnerabilities that were discovered. This includes the title, priority rating, description, attack scenario, recommendation, as well as the tags. Then for every asset which was affected by this vulnerability it includes the asset's name, information whether it was fixed including the timestamp for when it was fixed, remediation notes, vulnerability notes, and the proof of concept or steps to reproduce, as well as the screenshots. This repeats for all vulnerabilities discovered. Let's scroll down to the bottom. So the first dependency, it provides uh, explanation of all the sections within the report. The second dependency uh, provides severity definitions to help the reader understand the priority ratings applied to each vulnerability. And the last appendix includes the test cases which were completed, in progress, not tested and not applicable at the time the report was generated. Now we're going to customize the report based on our audience. I can manually toggle each section on or off. However, I'm going to select from the predefined options which are suited to typical audiences. This includes executives, risk managers, auditors or third parties, and developers. Let's start with executives. If I click this button, it'll remove areas which are typically not required for executives. Let's download the report and see what it looks like.
So as you can see, it includes all the information that an executive would need to know to determine how good or bad the pen test went, without overloading them with specifics for each vulnerability. Now we're going to download a risk manager report. For risk managers, we're going to include all the details to help them make an informed risk assessment. However, we normally don't need to provide the proof of concepts or screenshots, so this is omitted from the report, as you can see. Now we're going to download an auditor or third party report. For auditors or third parties, we typically only need to show them what was tested, how many issues were discovered, and whether they've been fixed or not. So this report removes any specific details you would not normally share with third parties. This includes proof of concepts, screenshots, and specific vulnerability details. And lastly, let's download a developer report. For developers, they only care about the issues and they need all the information to help them understand and reproduce each issue so they can fix it. So this report provides that information. So there you have it. Creating custom reports is easy and fast in AttackForge. Let us know what you think in the comments and make sure to subscribe to our channel for updates.